So you know, sometimes I think Sony are a victim of their own success. It's been four years since they released the WHCH510. That's the older version of this, the WHCH520. And that's because the Sony CH510s can still compete and still defeat a lot of the headphones in the sub 50 pound price category. But Sony have made so many advancements in wearable audio tech over the years. So Sony has decided that now is the right time to raise the bar again in the affordable on-ear headphone category. And the competition is fierce if you're looking for the best budget headphones under 50 pounds. And if you go on Amazon right now, the options are endless, but none of them may be quite as fierce as the Sony WH-CH520. And if you stick around, you'll see why. And the color options that are available right now are cream, black, blue, and white. And there's some nice, obvious, but subtle Sony branding on the headband because you know, you gotta let them know it's a Sony. And the materials that Sony have used are largely plastics with a nice matte finish. And this makes the CH520s incredibly lightweight at just 144 grams. And they look and feel surprisingly premium given the price. And Sony has upgraded the padding on the headband and the ear cups, making these light and comfortable. So in my opinion, Sony have really nailed two of the important requirements for a good pair of headphones. That's the comfort and weight. Now, something that I really like about the design on the 520s is the fact that when you're not wearing them on your ears, you can wear them around your neck and twist them outwards like this. This means you can still play music or a podcast and still hear it playing if you don't wanna wear them on your ears. That's a thumbs up from me. And when you are wearing them, they have a firm grip. So yes, they're ideal for running and general gym activities. I wouldn't go trampolining with them though. The tension on the headband seems to be just right so that even when you're lying back, they're not gonna fall off your head. And overall, the look and feel of these headphones is very much like a miniaturized version of the Sony WF 1000 XM5, which is of course the ANC flagship from Sony right now. But you could buy seven of the 520s for the price of one XM5. I'm not saying you should do that, but you could. So let's look at the controls quickly. The CH520s have clicky buttons for volume up and volume down. These buttons double up as skip forwards and skip back if you long push and hold them. And there's a raised button in the middle for play pause. And this button also has two additional functions, a quick tap to pick up calls and end calls, and a double tap to wake your device's default AI assistant. And we should consider ourselves lucky that we can still call them that, because I think in the future, we're gonna be the assistants. And two very important things you need to know about these headphones is there's no physical way of connecting a cable to a device. There's no 3.5 millimeter audio jack and you cannot use the USB-C port to connect it to a device either. The CH520s have an LED indicator that blinks when you're impairing and it shows when you're running out of power and it'll also show when you're charging. And there's also some really nice air vents just behind the hangers, which will allow the drivers to move more air. And also it might help your ears stay cooler for longer. And there is a single forward facing beam forming mic on the right ear cup. And what's that I hear you say? How good is the voice call quality? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay, so what you're listening to right now is the mic quality on the 520s. Let me know how it sounds with no background noise. And now let's introduce some noise. Okay, so now we've got some pretty loud background noise in the room. Can you still hear me clearly? Does it sound clear and easy to understand? Let me know in the comments below. And now let's take it up another level. Shout out to Qualcomm for hooking up this fan a little while back. They say the only fan you should need is one like this and not the ones you see in computers. Right, so we've still got the road noise and now we're gonna introduce some wind. So this is wind rushing directly at my face head on. That's a low setting. Let's turn it up. That's the next setting up, how's my voice sounding? And this is the back setting. How are the lights or lights holding up in this extreme light setting? So remember when I said, stick around and you'll find out why the CH520s are so fierce in this price category? Well, 
Listen here carefully. The Sony software features that are available here are better than many headphones that are more than double the price of the 520s. When you first pair these to a device via Sony's headphones app, you'll be prompted to take photos of your ears so that the app can calibrate the EQ for 360 reality audio. And if you don't know what 360 reality audio is, well, it's probably gonna be the default format of the future when it comes to music. And if you haven't heard it before, stick around to the end of the video and I'll link a little demo for you. It's an official Sony one. It's gonna blow your mind. And something else that elevates the CH520s above the rest is the fact that it does have Sony's digital sound enhancement engine. Now, what this does is kind of metaphorically like blowing the dust off an old vinyl record. It enhances more compressed audio files to make them sound better. So even old music that was recorded a long time ago when technology isn't as good as it is today will sound better than it does on other headphones. And here's a significant upgrade. And again, this is a feature we only sometimes see on more expensive headphones. It's multi-point pairing thanks to Bluetooth 5.2. So this means you can simultaneously connect the 520s to your phone and your computer if you need to get some work done or if you need to get an important gaming session in and it will switch automatically on the fly if your phone rings. So as you know, speed and power make the world go round and not much can be achieved without it. And someone at Sony made the wise decision to make it so that the CH 520s can run for up to 50 hours. 50? Yes, that's 50 hours at 60% volume. Now, I know what you're thinking, 60% volume, how loud is that? Well, I tested these headphones thoroughly and I found out that the maximum volume that I can listen to these at is around 70%. So listening at 70% would give me around 45 hours and that is still way more than enough for me. And they do charge with USB-C with just three minutes charge giving you one and a half hours of power. And if that sounds impressive, that's because it is. And do you know what else is impressive? So due to the compact size of the CH520s, the drivers are also proportionately compact at 30 millimeter. They do produce a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response range. The codecs supported are SBC and AAC. No LDAC though. Ah! And sound quality is quite subjective, but I have listened to tons of headphones. So I'll give you my best explanation of the flat sound profile on these and then we'll get into how to make them sound better for you personally. So the bass output on these by default is really nice and bouncy and full and I would say it's one of the stronger attributes of these headphones out of the box. When it comes to vocal clarity male and female vocals are respectable and if there's one area that needs a little bit of a lift it would be the mid-range and here's why these headphones are so great at this price point it's the fact that you can adjust all of these attributes yourself to suit your specific style of music. So within the Sony headphones app, there are a bunch of really great preset EQs, two of them being my favorite, the Bright and the Excited. Now Bright is ideal for rock, indie, and more old styles of music. And then the Excited one is better for hip hop tracks. For example, that new track by AI Drake and AI Weekend, Heart On My Sleep. And for those of you that are already subscribed to the channel, you'll know sometimes I like to share my unique thoughts with you guys. And sometimes I share my unique custom made EQs, which I do have for you here for these particular headphones. So try this one out for hip hop and bass heavy tracks. Trust me, it's gonna slap, like AI Drake said in that song. So here's what I think of Sony's WHCH 520s. Firstly, the name, I wish they could come up with something a bit more catchy and memorable maybe a Japanese word like Yukio. I believe that means floating world. <laughs> I just Googled cool Japanese names and that was one of the first one that I found. And in the price category that these live in, when it comes to on-ear headphones, there is a lot of competition. There's a lot of players and some of them are doing a great job at marketing, but very few of them have the audio expertise and heritage behind them like Sony do. And that's why if you're the type of person who wants to make a good sound investment, the WH CH520s from the one and only Sony won't disappoint. And there's four reasons why I place these firmly ahead of most of the competition 
Number one is Sony's build quality. Number two is the fact that you get Sony's more than 40 years of audio expertise dialed into the sound signature. And three, of course, is Sony's headphones software, which is unrivaled at this price point. And number four is of course the incredibly powerful battery, which can deliver 50 hours of playback. 50? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And here's a final thought for you guys. Man broke the speed of sound back in 1947, and the speed of light is still on the horizon. And that's just a matter of time. But if you could travel faster than the speed of sound, and you ran to your kitchen to grab a drink and left your Sony 520 headphones playing on the desk, when you returned to the same spot, would you be behind the music or ahead? Or will it still be in time? Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you got any kind of value out of this, a little thumbs up, subscribe would make my day and I'd really appreciate that. And if you just subscribed, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.